this movie was done in Montana, which is amazing. So let's talk a little bit about the movie. Congratulations on the award. Thank you very much. It's, it's quite an honor, and we really appreciate the recognition. So will you tell us a little bit about Yeah, so the movie's about a Marine who's wounded in Afghanistan, and he's sent to a VA clinic in Montana where he meets an older Vietnam vet who teaches him how to fly fish as a way of dealing with his trauma. Um, you know, it's not a true story, but it's based on many true stories. And um, we partnered with an organization called Warriors of Quiet Waters, which is a Bozeman-based nonprofit. Um, and they basically bring, they, they take help post 9-11 combat veterans, um, you know, deal with trauma by introducing them to fly fishing. And, you know, the, the, it's, that's happening with their organization, but it's happening across the country, whether it's through an organization or just through buddies going fishing. Um, I'm a fly fisherman, which is how I got interested in it. It, I mean, it was brought to me not because of me. It was just it came to, through my manager, and and he pitched me on it. And I had just you know moving to New York, where I live, it's actually the birthplace of American fly fishing up in the Catskills. So that's where, as much as Montana and Colorado are known for it, the Catskills are where it started in America. And so I started fly fishing. I had been doing a number of projects, working and researching a number of projects related to PTSD never got going on any of those but then uh, you know Steven's beautiful script came through and I just said I've got to make this movie. What do you want people to take away from the movie? I mean I think that you know it, it's a peek into the uh, issues and the struggles facing veterans in their post-military career and um, you know I think that you know it's it's largely about hope and about resilience but as much as the film is centered on this relationship between veterans it's also bigger than that, you know. Um, we've all lost somebody. We've all experienced trauma. We, as a as a humanity, have come through a collective traumatic experience in the last three years. And there are outlets for that. And there are ways that you know you can reconnect with nature. Um, you can get out and and sort of reclaim your focus. And it can be an incredibly um, powerful, powerful and profound tool for dealing with that trauma. Well, and the cast, Patricia Heaton, I mean, you have some amazing people in it. So it must have been just a great ensemble. It was. It, we were very lucky that so many people really wanted to be in the film and delivered really fantastic performances. I think that I'm most proud of the fact that it's just a, a beautiful film that's about relationships, about people connecting, about being in nature. Um, and it's really exciting now, you know, to have people start to see it. And everyone's getting back together, which is great. We love it. <laughs> oh, exactly. I mean, you know, and that too. the theatrical experience, right? Sitting in a theater and having an entire group of people experience the same thing at the same time is, I think that's what's still relevant about film festivals. As much as people can go watch movies at home, here, especially for independent films, you get a chance to see your film in a group setting yeah. that you don't often get. Well, congratulations. We can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. You want people to take away from the movie yeah just um, it's a movie about trauma and just healing and that it's not the end of your life when you come back from war that there's opportunities for you and uh, ways to connect with other people who have been through what you've you've been through so we found in our movie it's about fly fishing but there's plenty of groups of that do surfing and all kinds of other different activities that really bond veterans together I think they're really important for um, for um, ending suicide and mental illness, so. Well, you guys have some people on the panel from the military as well, right? That will be on the panel? Yeah, and we partnered with the Marine Corps, the Department of Defense. We had support from uh, Veterans Affairs and then from veterans organizations like uh, Warriors in Quiet Waters, which is a, a nonprofit in Montana that takes uh, post 9-11 combat vets fly fishing as a way to deal with their trauma and help them reintegrate into you know um, their lives here in the states after leaving the military. Thanks for putting this out there. It's something that we need to talk about. So congratulations and I'm coming to Montana so I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a message when I do. Yeah, let's go fishing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.